Well, when I got back, you know, now that I've done Santos, I pulled some cards on this really quick read again on 45. And what we have in the center of it, of course, is his mental abuses that he does when it comes to the affairs, these rapes, these uh, molestations of the community, okay? that he does and perpetrates over and over again. And of course, he's trying to uh, temper it because this is a huge Pandora's box. If these women all come forward and um, take him to court. So uh, underneath of it, the key is what his mental unhappiness, mental rebellion okay so that's exactly what's happening uh how dare they tell on me how dare they come out and put out this truth and i guess he wants to just figure there should be and he says how dare they come against somebody wealthy and i'm a big politician and you know if you're a star uh, they've been doing this for a million years and, uh, you know, all the drama that he continues to say to try to justify in his own mind what he's doing, okay? Um, so let's see what's the next thing coming down in court for him. What can you tell us about the next saga coming down in court what about the next saga at the center of it um now this could be this big thing the next thing coming to its conclusion coming to its fulfillment uh it also can be evidence to there but i think it's more than that that it's about republic ugly party as well uh, when it comes to him. Above it, he's going to be trying to hold on. And the foundation is this investigation, okay, underneath of it into his past actions. So this is the next one. I think the next one isn't the next one. Um, is it the hush money? Isn't that the next one that's coming up? the one that's coming up in January, and the judge told him, uh, don't plan on going anywhere. You will be in court, and you're gonna keep your mouth shut, okay? Isn't that the, this one that's coming up? So anyway, this is the, he's got what, four or five more cases coming up to courts, but this is the next one. We have convention. And I think the conventional thing in this one is uh, you're not going anywhere, okay? Clear your calendar because you will be in court. We're not having any of this nonsense that you're going over to open a new golf course or whatever scam you're trying to pull to get out of it. You will be in court. So the convention about him always trying to create some new storyline to fly away and create a new storyline. But they're saying, no, we're having the convention. You're, you're going to be here. You're going to be here and hold on to whatever you can hold on to evidence and we are going to go through it, okay? Underneath of it, again, we have this past we have the whole bouquet of flowers, the whole drama piece by piece that's going to be looked at. And we are, of course, having his rebellion. He's going to want to rebel. He's going to try to wait, find some way to come out and spin a storyline, even though the judge has already said, don't you even think about doing that. So let's see. We're going to pull some cards. Is he going to violate this order, and will there be consequences with it? Is he going to attempt 
to violate the very strict orders which have already been put into place, rapidly coming, say. So a rapid action above it, wanting to mentally distance himself from it, um, as usual. He's always got trying to some action to, to uh, move this to a sub, and trying to hold on to some kind of power and control. Because why? Underneath of it, I'm so beleaguered. What you're doing to me, what you're doing to me, this is, this is horrible, his usual victim self. So what we have here is discrimination uh, because we already seen that he is going to want to what? Transform it into something else. The court already knows what he does. Underneath of it, generosity, okay? He has a generous helping of the pity party, okay? that he puts out there. And this is about him, how he wants to transform, discriminate, and play the victim. How he wants to try to, uh, again, obstruct, put in mountains, put in obstructions, generous obstructions, a lot of obstructions. So he's trying to figure out in discriminating this, how can I find a loophole, find a snake, find a little something there that I can um, go against the court that I can get away with. So I'm sure he's talking to who? Roger Stone, the one that says that that's what he's good at, being a slippery snake. So let's see. Is he consulting with Roger Stone on trying to find some way, some loophole to get around this? So what about is he consulting with Roger Stone? Yeah, offering, okay. Again, he's going to go to somebody that he can say that putting out his emotional angst about what some sort of a new, uh, an, a new ideation, mental idea, some way that he can violate this because he wants to be in charge underneath of it. Oh, what a surprise, okay? So yeah, he's talking with Roger Stone they're trying to come up with some sort of a slick maneuver that he can put into place, okay? Because we know Roger Stone's the king of sleaze, okay? We have the assertion. He always asserts free speech so he can create what? Underneath of a drama. They want to be able to create create drama around this case. There's no low these guys will not stoop to. Of course, we come back to the man, I swear I did shuffle them, and underneath of it, the woman. So I don't know what the woman has to do with this, but um, maybe he's got, maybe, uh, you know, Gilfoyle, the gargoyle, grouper mouth woman. Uh, maybe it's uh, he, some of the women like uh, Bobert or, you know, Half Baked Green. Maybe he's got some women that are going to create a lot of drama, dark drama around it. Uh, I didn't do it, I have nothing to do with it. Maybe that's their plan now because they're coming up with some, looking at Ty to come up with some new mental plan, something new, some way he can assert putting something out there, okay? Um, so we'll have to see. 
but it looks like, yeah, they're trying to scheme something, scheme up something. So let's look, I'm gonna do one more. Let's see, how successful will this be? Will this be successful or we're just gonna backfire? Will it backfire on him? Okay, so going into it, we have a victory. Above it, juggling. It's gonna be juggling this stuff. And we've got the payout. So what's being given? We've got the blocking, the card of mentally blocking, not wanting to see. Um, so the question is, whose victory is this? Is it court's victory with being able to block him? Let's see if these last cards will tell us. Or is he going to have the victory of being able to have some women putting something out there and then claim, I know nothing about it? We've got, like we had underneath of it, the drama, okay? Drama, inspiration, okay? Inspiring drama. Is he paying these women to go out there and do this? Let's see what our last two cards are. We have community and moving forward. So he's going to try to inspire some women to come forward, create a lot of community drama concerning this next court case, okay? Um, hoping to claim the victory with it. Now I'm going to pull one more card and for clarification with that, I'm going to use my uh, Lenormand and let's just see what we have with that victory. The obstruction. So he may find some way, some, some trick some loophole somewhere that he can get somebody else to create a lot of chaos around it and then say i have nothing to do with it it's not me i can't help if they're putting this out you know so on that note i'm going to leave this here and we'll see you online